Welcome to Zentangle Project Pack 18. This is our wrap-up. My name is Rick. Hi, I'm Maria. And just look at all this great stuff that you guys did. So you must have this collection. You have now an exhibit that you could put in right. your home, invite people for tea, and, and explain to them all the different projects that you've done. It's like a little exhibit. Isn't that cool? And we want to just go through a few things of some of the... Some of, uh, the different ideas that didn't make it into the final cuts here. Uh, one thing is we put, you can take these uh, translucent tiles, translucency tiles, and put them in our frames and hang them in the window. They're really cool. And here are some, uh, just in no particular so order. Should we uh, move things away? No, I think no? like with this tile, oh, Okay. right? Here are some of the ones that were done in, How in, pretty in is that? In preparation and templates. Wow. Right? Wow. These were just um, projects. Oh, look at how this, this glows right. here. So this is what, what Molly did here is adding uh, graphite to the white, uh, white jelly roll. Yeah. So put the white jelly roll on and all those dots. Oh, my God. Look at how great. Add the graphite on oh. that. Isn't that cool? How fun. And this was, this was such a simple thing. It was just lines and orbs, right? Right. Albeit a little squished, but... And here's another... Oh, it looks like a, like a, a discovery of ancient ostrich eggs or something. <laughs> right? Yeah. And open the... Look at that. It's so beautiful. Right? Look at that. How fun. I think we did that one. And we got Julie's. We have this. Oh, this one of, this one of yours is like tons of these cool things. This is the one I wanted to show you up close and, and personal here was the the different, uh, that slight difference in each uh, needle or leaf um, where we had that uh, dark black in the middle of the leaf. And it's just, it just changed the whole look of this. And then this particular one too, we didn't have it cut into the paper. I just turned it around and did it exactly the same way on the back, just seeing through it so that it becomes a three-dimensional piece. Oh, just, that was so much fun. And what I really like is these, these like delicate feathery extensions. It is show feathery. Show through on yeah. both sides. So it was it's maybe like from some um, extinct. <laughs> plant uh, meets bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, which what else do we have here? Oh, this is this is really cool. Okay, so this so one here. This first one we did. Look at the different colors. Right. Oh, look at and that! How it, uh, how it catches the light. Yep. How fun! And the back is this subtle, beautiful. Right. Uh, look at this! Oh. Look at these. Whoa! That nice. So. We're like sharing this to give you ideas. Look at the difference on the color as it shows through. But ideas of all the places that you can, can take this. And it's been just so exciting seeing on the app what people are doing. It's, you know, like we put these seeds in the ground and you guys are growing them in ways that's like actually blowing our minds and there's a lot of new people on the app and doing great great things it's, it's awesome so this next one is the ribbon here this ribbon and um, we tried a, a bunch of things and this one um, we're going to show you the, the the inspiration in the book in a few minutes and um, at one point in time this this flourish was like part of the the logo on the book, and I thought it would be kind of cool to just put it across that cut part. Mm. How fun! And we showed this one, but I don't know if we showed it up close. Is it? I added these little triangles at the top, and it makes it look like this. Uh, right, you can see that. Yeah, that it makes it look like the ribbon was up here, and you just folded it over. That's kind of fun. Cool. And this one, I added an, a, a second ribbon on top of that, and you can see it through. Multi-dimensional, so and you can then see you put it through. A, yeah, a little bit of uh, 
white. Yeah, the white chalk. There. Yeah. Right. That's kind of neat. And this was just whimsy. I was trying different things. You can tell I was going kind of fast, but. Yeah, cool. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. A little keychain for you. Yeah, let's see. What's another one? Did we do this? Not yet. So on this one here, yeah. here's a couple different other, ir iterations. Uh, Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Look at That's that. That's so delightful. I know. Right? Right? So you don't get the, the, the silvery stuff. On uh, one side. On one you side, you got on the other. Right? And just the exploration of how this might work and, and what, Ooh. which way to take it. Neat, neat stuff. Right. Let's see. Here. Oh, want to show the book oh, on this one? But we also have some that we oh. we haven't shown you anything of. Right. You know, the, uh, different uh, trial and error things. We come up with a lot of different you know, we, we practice different different things and trying to see what works best. And with this one here, I did this uh, heavy poker with that that new number ten uh, pen. And then on the other side, we sort out of like outlined that. different things, but then filled it with with patterns so that you see the patterns through the leaves here. I don't even, this is, this is just crazy. I don't even remember how I did this, but this is kind of cool. Maybe you guys can figure it out. But it's just a matter of doing something really big. When you work big with a big pen, then you can go in the back and, and fill it. So just realize that once you pick up that number 10 pen, that you've got to start thinking mm. big. So and it's, it's an example of a tangle becoming a uh, string almost. Yeah, and this is just uh, well going out and hitting all the points, hitting the corners, and seeing what happens with that. This, I'm not sure what we were doing here, and but it's kind of fun. Like getting used to our tools, and, and yeah. how does this work, and, and how does it work on this surface, and which tools do what? I really liked uh, working with orbs. You can see them here. They like uh, ping pong balls all, you know, lined up. I liked the organized uh, the way they s settled into each other and they s nestled in. And I found that I liked doing blobs like dots of blob ink and letting the, the darkness around it work for you mm. as opposed to fighting it. And then on the other side you can just see the subtle different things. And then I, I played with some chains going around inside and out. And, and then here are just some other Real cool explorations. Who did this? I think that's... Is that Molly? I think that's Molly. Martha. Maybe could it be Martha? I'm not sure. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful um, exploration. They didn't make it to the back, though. But it's a good example of, of how the beautiful, the shading, and the you can put down that chalk and just, just move it around with the torque. Oh, I loved working with the chalk pencils. On this paper, it's, it's just like the bee's mm. knees. It was awesome, and, and it smoothed in with the tortillon so nicely. And here's another exploration of, uh, you know, different materials and techniques. Look at this. How fun is that? Right? Oh, it's because it's on the other side. Right, so you've got these textures showing through. Wow, Use of that, look at that big black tin. And then this is, this is a really cool technique, putting the black on top of the white. Yeah, look at this. Right? How fun is that? Yeah, this is really look neat. at this. This is we didn't have a brown pen, so but yeah. I'm sure you guys have a brown pen. Uh, the brown works really nice on it. So, and here's another one. And mixing the shading, the the chalk pen, the I mean the uh, colored chalk with the white chalk. It almost looks like stained glass, right? right? This the way stained glass is colored. How beautiful! Wow, striking, striking stuff. And then you you saw these mm -hmm. these two and the other one. This, the other one is the uh, it's this oh, one right, 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 here, right, right there. The with, with the light behind right. it. And I, was, I wanted to show you the book that I was talking about. So that's the, the, the uh, title of it. Here is um, The Authors. Um, 
the uh, the lettering was done by Greg G George Bosque, and the uh, illumination or the or the illustrations were Horace Hofnagel. And it's from the J. Paul Getty Museum in um, in California. And I bought it in '92 when they first came out with the book. That's how long I've been studying with this. So this was the the technique that I was talking about. You lost my page. I know. <laughs> uh, but you can see this one here when you turn the page over. I see it up closer. Yeah. yeah. So he you has can it coming see. through. So you can see the if you can see the the stems how beautiful they uh, look there. Oh, right. How gorgeous. Let's see if I can find the other one. Yeah, it's right over. No, it was further down. You can see how beautiful this book is. So there's, there's the stem going through here, which is just about impossible because I don't think you could get the leaves right. or the flower <laughs> through that You'd little have to slit have grown there. It that but way. I love that he did that, and and I laughed every time I'd see it because I'm, you know, he was just being funny. Isn't that great? Calligraphy humor or right. illustrator's <laughs> humor. I love that. Look at this. Are these uh, oysters? Little mollusks. Ah. Uh, and of course, all I was so inspired to do bugs, you know, and all kinds of insects and little mice and all kinds of stuff like that. So anyway. Again, thank you for playing along with us. Thank you for contributing all of your inspiration and taking inspiration from this and so generously sharing it on the app and wherever you share this. And we look forward to continuing to see where you take this it's it's really inspirational for us so I'm thank gonna you. Um, well I want to say something yeah. before we go uh, I want you all to realize that when we do these projects together they might be some that you don't resonate with or um, aren't particularly fond of but the ones that you are really excited about those will those will uh, germinate in your mm. work and and stretch to become other things. You know, what other things can you have going through the paper? What other things can you uh, twist on the backs? Uh, all of these things that you, you start to have a, a different attitude, even if you're working on a regular paper. Mm -hmm. You can still have these cutouts or, or things that go onto the back. You just have to figure out a different way to portray it. We're glad that you uh, had a good time with us, and we look forward to seeing you on the next Project Pack. See you later. Bye, Bye. now.